Hundreds of kids from across Connecticut came together in Southington this morning for the finale of their Race for Chase triathlon program. This is the eighth year the event has run, honoring Chase Kowalski, a victim of the Sandy Hook tragedy. Fox 61's Angelo Bavaro has the story. It's the moment these young athletes and their families had been waiting for after weeks of training. I'm most excited about to, like biking because I really like to bike. I'm excited. I'm feeling rather confident and nervous than anything. About 600 kids from across Connecticut gathered at Camp Sloper to run a real USAT sanctioned kids triathlon. Which amounts to a few laps around the pool. Uh, the lake here and then uh, a mile and a half to two mile bike and then a mile run at the end. It's the culmination of the Race for Chase Triathlon program, a six week program created to honor Chase Kowalski, who passed away in the Sandy Hook tragedy at seven years old. Chase was a triathlete at six years old and it gave him a huge self-esteem boost. He had a speech delay. So when he came in and said, Mama, I want to do that thing where you swim, bike and run. And I looked at him and I laughed and I'm like, Chase, that's a triathlon. They don't do that for kids. And he handed an iPad over to me and said, Google it. That's Chase's mom, Rebecca. She founded the Chase Michael Anthony Kowalski Foundation with their husband, Stephen, which funds the Race for Chase program. The foundation provides grants to 16 YMCAs throughout Connecticut to host free six-week camps for kids ages 5 to 13 where they receive training to be triathletes. We're changing the lives of children and their families. We're, we're teaching them life skills of swimming and riding a bike and running. We are teaching them about food and nutrition. Chase was so proud of finishing and actually winning his age group in his first triathlon at six years old. Uh, and that experience uh, is great for other children. Now these athletes are putting their training to the test on their feet, in the water, and on wheels. I'm looking forward to all of it. I, I love all of them equally, and it's just so much fun doing the race. But the real takeaway from Saturday's race can never be measured in miles. We don't get to see Chase grow up. And we see these kids and some of them come back year after year and we get to see them grow up and it's it's been amazing. Race for Chase has grown considerably outside Connecticut as well with 13 other sites in Rhode Island, Massachusetts and South Carolina. Angelo Bavaro, Fox 61 News.